name is Sarah, and I am a junior at LHS. You go! And my poem does not have a title. Oh my god, your hair is so exotic. You're so great to wear your hair like that. Can I touch it? Where did you get yours done? I wanted to say, box braids and all, I'll, I'll be. My African hair, my African hair, my African hair, my hair. You think that you and your aggressions can get through my thick hair? The hair that has been passed down through generation and generation? The hair that survived war, rape, abuse, rape, relocation, and depression? And you think that you and your aggressions will shave off my hair? Heck no. My hair is as thick as it comes. Thicker than the tree chunks of generations and no race can cut through it. Not even the blade that cut the ancestors' ties to their stolen children were able to take their hair. And your aggressions are nothing more than a dull toy knife, scraping the surface. My hair is beautiful. My hair is what makes me angry and cry and upset, but brings me joy and happiness. But that is the hair that I was born with, the hair that is my culture. Secrets shared and passed down, my hair represents a dynasty. And you and your trends with your friends who think you can wear my hair for a day will never understand the pain, happiness, trauma, and joy that I have growing out of my hair. So no, my hair is not exotic. My hair is a national treasure. No, I am not brave for wearing my hair. My ancestors were the one who struggled to get me where I am with that hair. No, you may not touch it. My hair is not a touch and go exhibit on display for you. And don't you dare take up hair you know nothing about. My hair is not just hair that you can comment whenever you want to. My hair is my hair. Trust me, you may not feel the wrath I have right now, but my ancestors are right there alongside me to educate you on how my hair is my hair. And no one, no one can take that away from me.